Hey guys, welcome back. This is Dongan with Silver Screening Reviews, and this is Dongan Rampa Trigger Happy Attic or a million? Maybe a million and three. I could be off by one or two. Last time we left off, we. The episode before that, we had completed Sakura's class trial, which you committed suicide. And then the fallout from that happened last episode, where we uncovered the flip, or the fifth floor of Hope's Peak. Um, not much up there, a, a giant uh, botanical garden, uh, there was a room we couldn't go into, the bio lab, which we're a little curious about, but uh, Sakura had apparently broken open the headmaster's uh, room, I believe it was on the fourth, and maybe on the third floor, but I'm pretty sure it's on the fourth, um, and Kyoka was sneaking around basically using Makoto as bait to distract Monokuma, so she got this key, we're not sure where it goes to. Um, it could go to the data center. It was locked earlier. It could be a master key. It could go to anything. It, the, now that I'm thinking about it, it could be a master key. Um, but it could go to any one of the locked doors that we kind of stumbled across as we were exploring Hub's Peak after each, after each death. So we'll, I'm hoping we'll figure that out. But uh, as we ended, we had provided yet again more distraction fodder for Kyoko as she's trallivanting around. And uh, we fucked with Monokuma. And now we're, we're home, we're in bed. Maybe this time we actually locked the door. Maybe maybe we didn't. Chances are we probably didn't. But uh, it's morning. And uh, it didn't give me a prompt that like I needed to go somewhere when we went to bed. So... We need to go here. So... Um... Is that auto scroll that? Okay, um, I wanna, I wanna, hold on, we're, we're gonna pause real quick, I wanna, I wanna apologize, I think I may have paused the recording, and, uh, we may have missed that whole little segment, um, so I'm gonna do a, just a really quick recap, and if not, I'll just strip this out, it's totally, and I don't know if that is, though, I'm really thinking that it's not, um, we went to the dining hall, and, uh, we just talked to the other people, and nobody knows where Kyoko is. And even Monokuma came in trying to prod us for information. He doesn't know where she is either. Uh, we didn't say anything as Makoto to anybody else, because Kyoko asked us not to. So, um, that's all that happened. It was maybe like two minutes. Uh, hopefully that's still in, but if it's not, it's not. But what we hear in the background is free time music. So... I'll... I'll be back. Okay, guys, we're back. Uh, I, this thing's on auto, and it kind of bugs me, but uh, you can see it. We're like saying that we need to sleep. We're feeling dizzy. I did free time with Toko for once, and uh, I actually got a skill. It was really nice. It was vocabulary. I don't quite know what it does yet, but uh, I talked to her once, and then I talked to Hino once, and I got a skill, uh, a point increase from her, and a natural skill. So Makoto's apparently passing the fuck out. Uh, I didn't pass out completely. It was more like my consciousness went dim. I reached back and forth between sleep and wakefulness, which is all to say. We're sleeping in our jacket. Why are we sick? It's restless. I found myself wandering through a strange dream. I don't want to be in a dream in this world. Please don't let me be a dream in this world. I under understand a voice it's so familiar it's i understand it sounds like us exactly i understand i should understand everything my goal isn't to get out of here it's to stay here yeah that makes no fucking sense hope this is all for hope, and that's why I have to stay. I have to stay here. Kyoko, I swear to God. Just now. What? So strange. Super huh? strange. 
Oh, fuck me. I'm glad you're acting appropriately this time. Perhaps we won't die. Can we get past this? Pant. Pant, 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 pant. Uh, wait. Was it, was it just Kyoko? What the... What did you... What did you say? Did we envision that? Was that a dream? Every day is peaceful. Every day is joyful. Happy days from the time you wake up to the time you go to sleep. Wishing only for those unchanging, unending happy days. Days of boredom repeating forever and ever. No abnormalities as far as the eye can see. Life is off the tiniest back of abnormality. If the world were like that, I'd consider that pretty damn abnormal. Well, thank you, Monokuma, for those words of wisdom. Bing! Bong! Good morning, everybody! Get ready to- So we had a weird dream, I'm assuming, right? Or was there somebody fucking standing over us with a goddamn luchador mask? Okay, moving on, no one cares. Right, we know about the dream- oh my god. See, this, this will be my my only negative to this game so far. It's just... It just insists upon repeating to itself, and it's just so ridiculous. Uh, it's not so much your dream of the not so much as this, this creep standing over us. Yeah, they were. Yeah, we do shit. If anybody thought of anybody, Kyoko saved their ass. He doesn't remember. Oh my god. Shit. Kyoko is here. Being weird. I don't care. Let's go. Well, the only way we find out is if we go talk to goddamn Kyoko. Wait, what? Oh ho! The knife. And it's super gone. You mean that's strange, because we put the fucking knife there, and now that means that the crazed person in the goddamn luchador mask going around trying to stab me only for Kyoko. It's Kyoko. Kyoko saves the day all the goddamn time. What would happen if Kyoko weren't here? We would have all been dead. Oh my god, shut- everybody shut the fuck up. Yeah, no shit, can we- This game can be just like a just like a lot of RPGs and visual models and stuff like that. It can be a bit slow sometimes to kind of get to where it needs to be. And it's already slow as it is. Like it doesn't move at all. Hey Makoto! Place. Yep, that's Makoto. Sure, this this guy's blue. She's super happy about life. Um We did give her a water jumpsuit earlier, so maybe she's super excited about that. Worries. We all went to get you. We were hammering away at your doorbell, but you never answered. We thought maybe you'd been, you know. I mean, not that's what actually happened. I mean, nobody here would want to, you know. So anyway, what were you doing? I didn't feel good, so I went right to bed. I had no idea if you guys even showed up. Why did you come to me? Did something happen? Mm. Well, lots of stuff, actually. I'm not sure I can really explain. Okay. Well, let's go meet up with everyone else. <laughs> Is everyone waiting somewhere else? That's right. We all stayed up the whole night. The whole night. <laughs> I lost at rock, paper, scissors, so I had to come back and get okay. breakfast. Okay. Well, that worked out <laughs> nicely. To the gym. Shit, where's the gym? Is it? Okay, I don't remember where the gym is. Y'all saw that, right? No, fuck off, dude. What? Show up now like it's no big deal. You made me stay up all night while you slept like a baby in your bed? Toko, I thought we were friends now. We talked yesterday. Yeah, no, it's the fucking... It's the Monokuma. Did nobody else... Mm. <laughs> like how everybody's just literally tearing him apart. Just, just little bits. Just little bits. What are you doing? 
Wrong. What does it look like? We're dismantling it to see what makes it tick. Aren't they filled with bombs? Dismantling? But I mean, that's Monokuma you're messing with, right? Yeah, it's one of probably a gajillion. Yeah, that's right. She's not even phased. Well, we know there's more than one. The first one hmm. blew up earlier. Relax, there's no danger. You say that, but... What is this? What are you guys doing? Well, let's talk to idiot number one. Seriously, what are you thinking? How can you say tearing about something like that is a danger? Hey, come on. Hmm. We all get down him. We tore him apart. What? Just before we went to bed. And I found him just like normal. However, when I found him, he was no more than a regular toy. He didn't react. He didn't say a word. We're saying he wasn't moving at all? Hmm. I waited there until nighttime officially began, but still Monokuma laid there motionless. I gathered everyone up as quickly as possible so they could take a look. Even then, he still didn't make a move. So I immediately initiated this assembly process. <laughs> it was master stroke of genius, a chance to find out what made Monokuma tick. Hmm. One thing we discovered that he is quite a sophisticated machine. It's leagues beyond any normal remote control toy. Who has enough free time to invest in something like that anyway? But besides that, what I'm wondering is why did he stop moving? Hmm. I thought maybe he malfunctioned, but we didn't find any causes when we were taking him apart. So if he didn't break so down, in other words... then maybe something happened to his puppeteer, the mastermind. Something unexpected. I can't imagine any other possibility. Something unexpected. <laughs> they were probably so scared of Master, they ran away in terror. Could it be? Maybe they got sick? Well, Monokuma made his announcement this morning, right? Who was that? If not the Mastermind. <laughs> I'm sure that was a recording. It's set to a timer and plays as necessary. Mm. Probably true. Hey. You know? Oh, fuck. There's the bomb. Huh? It's what? <laughs> it's a bomb. There's one installed in every Monokuma robot, I'm sure. <laughs> a b -b -b bomb yeah, we should just throw it. It appears the bomb has a motion sensor. Any sudden movements, it's sure to go off. Please tell me Hero dies. Just a second. Yeah, you're a man, Hero. Just deal with it. You're a piece of shit, dude. You're like the world's most spineless worm of the century. Don't be mean! Century's just getting started. Don't call the race already. Let's hurry up and put the bomb down. Yeah, can you just... Um, Maybe roll it the fuck away from us. Well? It's right here in the middle of us. Wow. I don't... Yeah, this Monokuma that's torn up to shit. So maybe the person who attacked us was the mastermind? And Kyoko fucked their shit up? Just a second! Hey. Don't hunt us. What? Huh? Now, fuck off, Toko. We're friends now. Hmm. We were saying, since we've done this mentally, Monokuma, what should we do now? <laughs> and we decided to continue our offensive assault. It's all clear. Trying now. to uncover the mastermind's true identity. We're going back into the headmaster's room. Really? Naturally. Since the headmastermind appears to have stopped all activity, now's our chance. S solid. Okay. What? Well, it wouldn't matter. We're allowed in there because the door's open. So who cares? <laughs> I'm okay, I can be chicken number Such six. Ignorance. This is a battle of fights to death between us and the mastermind. We don't have time to deliberate. I, mean, I don't wanna have to kill each other or anything else, but we have a chance now. Come on. No, we're gonna we're gonna fucking go. Let's fucking roll. It's all roll. clear now. We don't have to break into anything. <laughs> oh my god. How about that? Everybody's having their powerful moment. I guess I could just probably go down here, right? It's just down here. Oh, fuck you guys. I could probably talk to you. I really doubt. Wait, it's still locked. What? Isn't it obvious? We're going to tear this door off its hinges. The rules say we've seen that the mastermind isn't watching us, so it's no matter anymore. But... but if the mastermind does show up. So, in other words. Eh, fair enough. Hey, what? We've come this far, we can't back down now. We agreed that this is what we have to do, so we have to do it. <laughs> I mean... What the heck? Okay... Actually... How are we gonna do that? This thing looks pretty sturdy. Hmm. Then we'll need something sturdy of our own. Okay, what about that one thing? The pickaxe? Oh, so... I see. That would fucking hmm. work. 
It's all clear now. What? Wow. Naturally. Surely you like to have your me time once in a while, right? Well, it's me and you time, Master. What? Oh, wow. <laughs> Poor fucking Toko, man. Hey. No problem to solve by running away. Find your stones and be a man. Man. There's some, uh, there's some man hating going on. I fucking love it. If you spend all your time trying to avoid danger, you'll never move forward. Hey. Uh, um. No, then shut the fuck up. <laughs> Sap sauce. Damn, what? And why the fuck are you. Oh. It's the one differous, murderous fiend here to greet you with a razor sharp smile. So this worries me. Because she she comes out when she sneezes? She comes out when she sees Come blood. On. I'm supposed to pick an axe? You seeping imbecile. Pickaxe. Seeping imbecile. Oh master, you wound me with your executive level bards. Seriously though, because you forget about the pickaxe. Give it a rest. Not possible. This is a our level of usefulness I find difficult to tolerate. Mm, yes, yes, like that, just one I more. see! That's why I went to the garden right? I was supposed to get the pickup. <laughs> we solved one of the mysteries, and that's, that's hmm. the thing. Have you reached that certain age? What does that even mean? So, um... Uh... You've got to be kidding! Oh, yeah, that's it. And <laughs> ka ar did you hear me? I said the corpse. The corpse. Yep. Found the corpse in the garden. Found the corpse in the garden. What? What did oh, you God. say? Oh. Come on. Yeah, we should probably go fucking look at that. And uh, I'm really kind of sad right now because it's and it, it, it's Kyoko, right? I mean, or could be the other person. That's right. It's this fucking jackass in the mask. We saw this already. Well, there's the knife. I saw someone laying on the ground with a mask covering their face, and there was a knife. Guys, look at the hands, buried in their stomach up to the hill. Whoever did it, isn't it? It's, it's a girl, but it's not Kyoko. I love the music right here. It's not Kyoko. That's Claire. Yeah, no, no, we know. Shut up. No way! Are they really dead? Is this really a dead body? What? Be ever so careful. There's no telling what you might find. Well. Woo! Deadly life. Okay, you're useless. Thank you, Hina. You, however, are also useless. I don't. Mm. Fine, fuck it. In the white coat, they're wearing masks, and folks won't tell anything about the body itself. But this, no, it's not a total mystery. The hands and the boots. This person didn't have those fingernails, so. Why? Something's not right here, and I don't know what it is. Hmm. Their heart isn't beating, they're not breathing, all signs of life have come to a complete stop. Thanks to a knife that's been driven into their stomach, their clothes are stained a bright red. Well, bright pink, but same thing. It appears the bleeding has stopped, but the blood there is still wet. Be careful you don't touch it and get some on you. Uh, um. Hmm. Well, it is definitely a girl. Huh? Look at the nails. And those boots, man. I mean, those boots were made for water. <laughs> but an ain't yes. Come on. Wait, don't. By the time he called out, it was a. Oh. Joko's hand shot up toward the mask. And in the next instant. 
Oh, fuck. <laughs> okay, you stupid, stupid bitch. The body blew up. It blew up. It blew up. It blew up. My vision started to darken. I prepared to pass out. Who prepares to pass out? Come on. Hurry up, put out the fire. As my consciousness attempted to float away, that voice reached up and pulled it back down to earth. Someone pressed something into my hand. It was a bucket of water. <laughs> Dumped the water on it. Okay. The upper half of the body was on fire. I took aim and tossed the water as hard as I could. Splish. Thankfully, that was enough to put out the fire. It died down, leaving behind only the unpleasant smell of burning fucking flesh. I guess that took care of it. Of course it fucking explained. What did Where you the say? hell is Toko? <laughs> I had a bad feeling about the body, but I never imagined it would explode. And now the body... The body's fucking useless to us. What? Don't compare it to a steak. I'll never be able to eat steak again. But now the body's charred, I really have no idea. And we're gonna find out who it was. Hmm. Kyoko is in here right now. What? Um. Uh, uh. It's not Kyoko. We know that much. It's not Kyoko. I'm hmm. say it was but... Kyoko. <laughs> there is one other person. In other words. And ask. Oh. Yes. What? What? What the heck? Hmm. Normally, the idea wouldn't be worth considering, but I have reason to believe it may be true. The mastermind being dead would explain that other matter, wouldn't it? Monokuma can hardly move a mountain if its master's dead, right? But... but that corpse is a girl, right? It doesn't make any sense. Remember what Alter Ego said? I mean... What the heck? He said that was, uh, he said that was the most logical thing. Is it the teenage girl Kyoko told me? Oh, the ultimate despair? Huh? Uh, we probably shouldn't have said anything. Mukuro Ikasaba, the 16th student at Kupi. What? Uh, God damn it! The other day, Kyoko confided in me. She said there was a 16th student here in the school. What? Yeah, we probably need to. All Kyoko told me was Mukuro Ikasaba. Ikasaba, the 16th the what? It sounded like Kyoko thinks Mukuro is mastermind. I see. There's another student here. And it's a female? That would match the body's characteristics. So, um... And that phrase, the ultimate despair, it sounds super mastermindy, doesn't it? Could it be? Okay. Okay. This makes sense. Shut up. Don't you wind up burnt for crisp? What the heck? None of this makes any sense to just suddenly show up and then die. Hmm. I think we better take a closer look at the body. There may be some clues to help us figure out there's not going to be any ah. fucking clues. What? Um... Oh my god, Toko. She's <laughs> super fucking dead. I'm hoping she's date Bryce, that'd be nice. God damn it, Toko. Yay, she's alive. I know, exactly. Bianca, I kinda have to agree with you for once. What just happened, Master? Stop talking. You declared for the whole world to hear that you would never in again inhale a single molecule of oxygen. <laughs> oh my god. What the heck? I don't. You guys are so fucking weird. Okay, well. Okay, well, focus on the body then. What's left of it? So, um. Wow, yeah, exactly. I'm not Kyoko after all. This Kyoko, um, oh, she's missing. She ain't here though. One. Hold on, there's something on the ground here. Okay. It's definitely a key. No, it's not the same key. Okay. We're definitely taking that key, whatever the hell that was. What? Oh, we found the key. Hmm. Oh, that's to see. figure out what the key is. So, in other words... Oh, uh, it could be the data center. Oh, of course we're an iron boy. Oh, okay. It would make sense just looking at that key. Nice! Fuck you, Kyoko, we can do that without you. It goes to the data center. Huh? We can. I see. 
Why did the now deceased have that key on them? Hmm. I suppose we'll just have to go to the data center and find out. Hmm. Here we are. Looks like the door's still unlocked. Um, so when you open that door, it's not gonna be. You know, that's actually a super um, good point. Hmm. What? In other words, it's in your hand. Hmm. It means I. Tr no, it no exactly. You just want me to fucking blow up first. Lucky student, lucky student, lucky student, lucky student, lucky student, lucky student. I don't hear a bomb. Okay. That's Monokuma. In a word, the room was... It's a data center, why is it strange? It wasn't a surface fear. Here the fear was lurking beneath the surface. The room was filled with that kind of dread. <laughs> The mana up oh, of Earth. Look at all the monitors. They're showing us. Why is that surprising? We knew the we knew the mastermind was looking at us. Like that's not surprising. What? It's a direct feed from every single surveillance camera. All the cameras in the school feed back into this room, and they're displayed here on these monitors. So that's it. Huh? It's all clear now. The mastermind's room. I guess that makes sense. So the mastermind was here. Watching us. <laughs> then I think this settles it. <laughs> the body in the garden. If they had the key to this room, it can only mean one thing. That was the body of Mukuro Ikasaba, and she was the mastermind. <laughs> She's super dead. <laughs> super serial dead. It's too bad they had to go and die before Master could kill him himself. The mastermind is dead? Did that really be true? Uh, for the record, I don't believe that to be true. I'm not saying it's not Mood Road whose body's out there. I don't think Kyoko would go planting bombs in people. So I'm super confused because... What does that mean? If it isn't Kyoko dead, and it's Mook Road who's dead, that means Kyoko put the bomb in the body to blow it up. That's enough. I don't believe she would do that. Huh? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and if the only other person here is Kyoko, then it's not... Naturally. Yeah, there was a fucking hmm. bomb in that person. Yeah, and they were murdered before they even what? got up there because that bomb was implanted in them. Such ignorance. Uh, I'm telling you. Okay, I don't know. None of you have anything to say. Shut up. You're all fucking useless. Uh -huh. Having Shihiro here would be super nice. Uh -huh. Fighting spirit isn't gonna get us into the PC, you dumbass. <laughs> what? Hmm. Hmm. I mean, it's a lot of monitors, but there was a lot of surveillance cameras. <laughs> as long as I have this. Have what? Oh, that's super fucking disturbing. Don't ever talk like that again. Uh, I'm gonna talk to the two over here. You're an idiot. I feel like she would be so much more useful if she wasn't completely fucking weird. Break it down? Um... Nope. Of course not. Hmm. Of course there'd be yeah. two separate keys. Mastermind's not dead. There's another person here. I have that I'm absolutely fucking sure. Of that I'm absolutely fucking sure. What am I missing? Wait, what? Didn't I get everything? No? Hmm. Fuck 
Podcast. Okay, I talked to these two. I talked to these, and I got. Is it this one that's different? Hmm. Is that a TV antenna in Japan? How about that? You know. Okay. Saturday morning, he is here. Okay. You know. Hmm. Yeah, news would be nice. You know? Mm -hmm. huh? Hmm. Hmm. Uh. Hmm. Okay. Yep. What? Then yeah, exactly. Uh. an idiot mastermind. All you guys need to cut through from your grips of the outside, bro. We're sitting here watching TV the whole time. Huh? Okay, so it's not a TV. Hmm. It's not an antenna. It's coming from us. What the heck? Why is it a looping TV? Come on. What are you doing? Huh? That's really weird. Hmm. <laughs> You're weird. But... This TV isn't hooked up to any... Are we on TV? Well... Uh, um... But on every channel, it's just us. There's a live feed of us standing there in the data center. What the heck? Guys, that's super mm. fucking creepy. No, it's not broken. Could it be? We're being broadcast. Hmm. Oh! Actually. Hmm? Huh? Huh? What? Thank you, Hera. <laughs> Been a while, you friggin' bastards. Huh? No, why would he assume he's dead? One is a robot, but two. What? what? Of course! Evolution is perfectly natural. After all, I've been hibernating for two years already. Uh... Been like half a day at most. <laughs> that two years is important, and I don't know why just yet, but I will. <laughs> don't tell me you pretended to be dead all for this moment. <laughs> Why would a bear pretend to be dead? You're the ones who should pretend to be dead when you see a bear. I mean, that's totally laughable. Well, now. And that's that. Shing. It's almost time to cut off your past so full of hope and begin to despair of the future ahead of you. I want you to have way more fun in this killing game. Huh? 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 Won't you let me out of here? Shut up, Rhea. Are you still obsessed with getting out of here? Unbelievable. How do you not getting? There is no getting out of here. And besides, yep. this life isn't all bad, you know? I mean, there's stuff you won't like about life no matter where you are. <laughs> well now. Well, I pooped from all that laughing. I guess I'll just get to the point now. The point. Hey. Um... You guys really struck gold when you found that TV. Yes, indeed. That TV is an essential part of your school life here. What? What the heck? Because we're being broadcast. <laughs> I'll let you in on a blood gushing secret and tell you about it. That TV is absolutely without a doubt displaying the signal coming in on the antenna. Huh? This what is... the heck? Unbelievable. Oh, I, I get kills, it. Chills, kills. This killing game is being broadcast live to the entire world. It's the most popular thing on TV. Extreme! Doesn't matter how many times he says it. I don't know what it's. What are you. Makoto, you're a fucking retard. Get out of here, dude. But that's... Have they taken over the airwaves somehow? Oh, the camera no! feed is being broadcast. Phew. All you need is one weird trick that I found, and hijacking the airwaves is easy mode. Of course! I have to say, I heard a kind of creaking, but the sound was coming from my own mind. Like a boat tossing in the ocean, my mind had begun to creaking around. Hey, um. All those hints I gave you, all those tantalizing tidbits about the school's mysteries, even me lurking, luring you here right now. Why would I do any of that without a reason? 
It's all for my captive audience to show them true despair like they've never seen it before. I became the director of the despair-based production. This is the ultimate reality show, the best of despair entertainment. What are you saying? Uh, um... Actually... What if they already did? Yes, indeed! Not really any of their business, but I'm sure some people might yell at their TV to try and warn me. But who would actually come here to help? Mm. Don't you think that's possible? I don't know, really know personally. I don't really know personally, though, so whatever. This can't be! To take control of all communications like that, you need an astronomical amount of resources. <laughs> yeah Of course! A body has Fuck. been discovered! I forgot about these stupid announcements. After a certain amount of time. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> it's the Monokuma file! Heart-pounding excitement! I can't wait! I can't wait! And then he was gone. Reality was incomprehensible to truth. Hopelessly out of reach. All we were left with was despair. We stood there for I don't know how long, frozen in place. I couldn't think. It took everything I had just to keep myself standing upright. <sighs> I'm sick of this. Stop talking. What it means is that at this point, we have to figure out who the culprit is. Figured out who killed Kyoko. What the heck? Well, okay, I can... I can see that, right? And if Monokuma is still alive and active, that means Mufuro is alive. It's not, though. Did you see the boots? Did you see the nails? The body is Kyoko's. Kyoko's been murdered? No. Because, because I don't know anything about her yet. I don't even know who she really is. To have it end like this. I don't believe it. I refuse to believe it. Quiet. Whether you believe it or not doesn't matter. The truth is the truth. If you refuse to believe, it's your responsibility to uncover the truth for yourself. <laughs> Anyways, we'd better begin. But... If we're gonna have a class trial, then that means to kill her. That's her. right. This must be someone participating in our school life. <laughs> well, that's not precisely what I'm saying, no. Huh? Stop talking. I don't have time to explain. There's a ver... Or there's a... a Veritable mountain of issues I need to confirm, so I'm going to begin my search. If you value your life, you'll put everything you have into this. This is how this game works, after all. Woo! I'm gonna start by checking out the Monokuma file. They were, however, dead before the blast. They'd been stabbed a single time with a knife, which went completely through the body. They'd also been struck in the head with an object that was as thick as a metal pipe. The body was covered with other wounds, but those were at least several days old. Music's intense. I have no choice. I have to investigate. I have to uncover the truth for myself. No matter what, I have to find out what happened, or we're all dead. I need to go back to the scene of the crime. Back to the garden. There's fucking trees below. Okay, time to get started. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and call it quits, guys. The next episode will be the investigation for yet another murder, and I'm it's not Kyoko. It's not Kyoko. And if it's not Mukuro, then it's somebody else. And I'm going to think about it for a minute before the next episode. But uh, again, this is Dominic with Silver Screen Reviews. And thank you for watching this episode of Dong and Monk, uh, Trigger Happy Havoc. And I just want to shoot everybody. And then I'll be the winner, right? Then I can graduate. I mean, that's how it happens, right? If you guys enjoyed the episode, leave a like down below. Let me know you appreciate the content. You want more of it, all the good chats. Any comments, criticisms, suggestions, critiques, leave down in the comments section below. I love hearing from you guys. Otherwise, have a good night, and I will see you in the next part.